Now, WFXR Sports. Ah, uh, yes. Good evening, everyone. I'm Jermaine Farrell. Hoping your day is wonderful and blessed. Time now for the latest in sports news. Game four of the SPHL final from the Berglund Center tonight. The Roanoke Grillyard Dogs hosting the Birmingham Bulls. The Dogs, one win away from celebrating with the President's Cup for the first time. Let's go to said Berglund Center. Game four. This game was scoreless in the first, so let's go to the second. Roanoke's Josh Nenendahl on cue. Gets the dogs on the board first. one nothing. Roanoke. In the third, it was party time. But with 10 seconds left, regulation the Bulls. Carson Rose would get the equalizer. Tying it at one. So for the second straight night, we will go to overtime in the OT. It is going to be Mac Jansen. Two minutes and 40 seconds into the period. Glory. Mac Jansen gets the game winner. The series winner and the title winner. Roanoke getting it done. Winning the President's Cup. But a two to one win, winning the series three games to one. The Dogs, Austin Rodebush inside the pipes. He was named the series MVP. And we roll down to the Berglund Center where WFXR Sports David Guzman was there for all the action. David, the Dogs didn't make it look easy, but it was, again, a great way for them to win the title tonight. Well, Jermaine, what a memorable night, and once again, we are just left speechless. The dogs got the celebration they wanted, but they had to wait a little longer than they intended after Birmingham scored the equalizer with just 10 seconds left in regulation. But but for overtime, they regrouped, and then it was Mac Jansen just minutes into the extra session, scoring that game winner, and then the celebrations ensued. Let's take a look at how those celebrations unfolded here on the ice at the Berglund Center as Rono claiming its first SPHL title, getting to do it here on home ice, which meant so much to this team, to do it in front of over 5,300 people. We know the story by now. A year ago, they saw Peoria win it in overtime on this ice. That fueled this team this entire year. And you know what? It's pretty fitting that Mac Jansen, the face of the franchise, the team captain, gets it done in overtime. I caught up with him after the win and during the celebrations. Speechless, man. What this group has been through, how hard we fought, this group of men, my brothers. Speechless, I got no words. You've been the face of this franchise. You became captain this year. You guys are 10 seconds away, and you had to regroup. I mean, what did this team do to give you this moment? It's a resilient group. You know, we were a third period team all year. We had many, many third period comebacks. Didn't go our way in the third. We just told ourselves, keep playing our game and the right thing will happen, and it did. An emotional Mac Jansen as you look up at the scoreboard. It, there it is, two to one, the dogs winning. It's also been saying business unfinished and also the fact that uh, they're already selling T-shirts out on the concourse uh, as uh, goalie Austin Rodebush, he's been the rock for this team. He was named the MVP, as Jermaine mentioned. And also one last thing, Dan Bremner, the head coach, this is so fulfilling for him because last season they went through that dark stretch where they had that long losing streak, made it to the finals, lost to Peoria, made it back here and got the job done. So, so many storylines. We're going to talk more about it tomorrow morning on Good Day Virginia. But for now, reporting live after the Roanoke Rail Yard Dogs win the President's Cup, David DeGuzman, WFXR Sports. Thank you so much, David and Ryan down there as well. Great job by those guys and the Rail Yard Dogs did it. And over the last few, pl few playoff years, lost in the first round, lost in the semis, mm -hmm. lost in the finals last year, and they get it done. So they have the trophy. So congratulations to Ron yeah. Rail Yard Dogs. They are the champs. The champs are here. Yeah, and it was a packed house. Yeah, it was. Brian it posted was. photos from the game tonight, and I like it did. It didn't look like there was an empty seat. Ron yeah. is a so, hockey town. No yeah. question yeah. about that. So right it's exciting for everyone. <laughs> good for them. I'm proud of those boys. That's a good thing for the city as well. And 